There's the master. Ready and waiting. Are you all ready, Darren? Yeah, yeah. Getting the horses in and fed. All ready for a lovely day's hunting. What? Like what? How do you do this? Do that again. Do that again. That's <laughs> what I saw in the bedroom this morning. <laughs> just like to say that we were first here normally we're last here and 100% we've beaten Becky oh yes we've beaten Becky she'll be in shock you don't need another one of those. I do. <laughs> up I don't into know the how many wine you drank last night. <laughs> she did She got an much. aimless grin on her face all the way home. <laughs> she was just I was giving to it some of this on the way home and she just didn't reply once. <laughs> just smiled at me. No, that's alright. <laughs> I quite like a drunk grin. I like, <laughs> I like your pie. Anyway, can we? We're going up into the woods. Up into the woods. Yeah. Left handed. Yeah. To the end of the woods. Yeah. Right handed all the way around the outside of the woods. Yeah. Cross the road. Left handed. Okay. Cross the road. Left handed. Right handed. Yeah. Straight over. We'll test you later. Right handed. Straight over, up the stubble, left-handed, right-handed, left-handed, and down to the bottom. We're going to stop by the wood, by the wood, by the. Fantastic! Can I just? Broadway and Fidget in front. Black current. Fetish on the left. Boozy on the right. Yo oh boy brunch. Brunch is thinking about it. Hey, come on. Broadway. Come on. Broadway's not been out this year. Be interesting. Oh, well here we are on our way to our first line and um, my job really is to obviously make sure the hands stay with me but to, to keep them calm and uh, so when we when we get to the line the start of the line they uh, they can do their job with their noses down rather than roar off at 100 miles an hour like a load of kids who haven't been fed for a week and the uh, shutters at the uh, dinner hatch have just been uh, opened up and uh, I imagine they will just all run aimlessly and to uh, fill their faces with food. Um, so behind me, I've got uh, two people uh, called Whips helping me. 
um, either side, left and right, and then I've got my wife, the field master, and all our merry followers who follow my wife. Um, the idea is to stop the uh, field getting too close to the hounds, and uh, I'm about to give my two whips who helped me some instruction as to where I think the runners are gone. So I think, I think we're going up here, right handed and see the gap, then left up there, then left and coming out here this side. So they're supposed to go up there and then and then left, yeah? Well, they look like they're going really well. Um, I uh, I don't like to get too close to my hands because they uh, they're sensitive creatures and I don't really want to interrupt what they're up to. As you can see, they're roaring along the uh, track where the runners had gone, and uh, off we go again. Um, actually, we had to do a bit of editing there because um, they, for whatever reason, went left instead of right, um, which is the uh, beauty of editing because I my language sometimes can be a bit biblical and uh, I'm trying to put across a persona of being this really patient, quiet, nice person and uh, to do that uh, my wife has to do a lot of editing. Um, round the corner and uh, yeah, there's uh, that thing in the middle of the field is a person metal detecting. Um, it's a, uh, uh, quite a um, popular pastime Just in Norfolk okay, turn right because of our, um, our uh, shush, historic shush. remnants of um, Romans maybe, is it Romans? <laughs> um, anyway, uh, two of the hands thought he smelt better and they've now come back with him. Um, and uh, as you can see we try and keep off the farmer's fields as much as possible. Um, the runners will run around the corner and off we go again. And as you can see, like I said earlier, I keep fairly well back. The only issue with that is if they do go the wrong way, I am not very close to them and uh, um, I rely on my whips to get them back to them. But that doesn't really happen, as you can see. The hounds are close. They were hunting really well. Yeah. yeah. Um, That's good. Um, you go back, all right? Are we carrying on talking now? We are, yeah. Um, we're going to explain what's happening in a minute, aren't we? Oh yeah, I don't know what that one is. There's one seems to be one really slow one. Um, we these are, yeah, some of these hands are first season hunting, new entries. So actually, they they they're going extremely well, um, and uh, we're very very lucky. Um, and then they go across the road, which is a change in scent, isn't it? And they work for a group that sticks to the line. Yeah, I do tend to run straight across the road. I do like galloping straight across the road. Um, it gives me my sense of now responsibility. You can what you did. And uh, but, but there, there were some people on the road checking the traffic. So the hands went off down to the left, and they're down right over to my left, along the trees on, on the on the west side of the picture. And I've cut across the corner because they're actually eventually going to head up to the other side of those trees in front to the north of me. And. Uh, there we can see them just in the top left corner perhaps. so I've trusted them to go around there on their own and I've taken a bit of a shortcut because it a 
um, as I was told by the person that helped me a lot years ago, um, you have to look after your horse uh, and save its energy as much as possible um, throughout the day because you never know. Well, you don't want to get three horses away through the day and find it's got no energy. Um, and then you'll have to get off and run, run on your own two feet, um, which is not good. Um, so they've crossed over down at the bottom and I've now got to find my way through here. I hadn't pre-planned any of this, funnily enough. And uh, that's what makes it a bit more exciting for me because um, you never re really know um, what, what sort of route you might take and sort of brings it back to my old days of um, when I used to help um, with, with other pets Daddy, 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 Here you go, Daddy. he's shouting Daddy. at them to steady because they're running a bit free and then you check them and then off they go. The front one is a bit Broadway, she's a bit... I think you're oh, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. And then you're cutting across again. Yeah, so... Um, the hounds have gone down to the left and then they go right up to the wood in the left of the picture and then up along the wood and I'm going to cut across the corner as Justine said to uh, meet them. The field follow around behind the hounds. I mean I'm lucky today that these are, that, 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 that this is stubble because if this had been drilled I, I wouldn't have been able to ride across the middle of it um, unless it was an emergency but it would be extremely wet um, because of the amount of rain we've pretty well had um, but obviously on a Sunday when we hunt it, it never rains so that's why it's blue sky um, but uh, yeah here we go um, uh, I, 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 it's the first time I've had the camera so I'm sort of not really thinking I've got it on my hat and every time I move my head obviously it's not, not great you're probably dizzy now um, probably fell asleep even um, Anyway, in a minute you'll see, there we go, there's a hand in front, and that's Fetish again, because she's going well, there we go, Fetish, Broadway, um, Bree, um, I don't know what the other ones are called, you know, anyway, here they come, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Ferret, ding Dingle, Wingle, um, <laughs> bringing up the rear, it's Bob the Bill, yeah. the Bill, there's Brecken, um, Bailey, Bailey, yeah, Bailey, Bailey, to well, be fair, well, as, as you, as you say, Bailey? that's the first season yeah, hound, yeah. and uh, it. To be fair, it was hot um, uh, after this line. It did cool down later on, and I do not like the heat. There's the runners down at the bottom. Mm, that's uh, a successful catch. Yeah. So what happens when you hunt with the Nile Valley Bloodhounds? They strip off halfway round. Yeah. yeah. Did you see my Halloween picture this morning of Justine? So Justine when she was doing the horses. <laughs> well, absolutely. Unless I did, unless I wore it. Welcome to the start of line two. Uh, we are trundling our way through Swiney Wood, which is a famous West Norfolk wood um, near Westacre. Um, there were lots of uh, unorthodox goings on back in the day. Oliver Cromwell and uh, his, his um, uh, Merry raid, Men. Merry Men, <laughs> Merry Men, yeah. Not so merry after the raid into Castlaker, but uh, anyway, um, here we go. We're going to meet the field who have gone around a different route on the left. And uh, as you can see in front of the little jumps we put out for everyone to jump, but unfortunately, um, my. Um, Oh, it hasn't done a lot of that, has it? Back no. off, back off. No, so I'm jumping. I'm, they're nice jumps for me, but... Um, we're going to go, we're the basically going down here, and then we're, we're heading back bigger. that way, you know, on the outside. Of, to you know, out, where we're going. Then coming out me, of the wood. Where we're going. Then going down the valley, yeah. I don't yeah. think you can hear it now. So anything that way, yeah, exactly. or that way, is wrong. 
Yay, yay, yay. Well, off they go. Um, my um, the two whips and my daughter is um, is the weekender, and then there's Georgina Matthews, who is uh, incredibly helpful to us. She comes during the week as well and helps us, and uh, we're very much um, appreciate that. Um, and uh, they are basically I'm only as good as my whips. And uh, okay, so here we go. Two, three, a uh, couple and a half of hands have gone right-handed. The rest, for whatever reason, went straight on. They're wrong. They're wrong. Um, and uh, there goes Tilly to get them back. Um, they do sometimes overshoot, and uh, they will cast themselves again, and uh, to get back on the line because obviously as they overshoot, they they lose the scent. Um, I'm, I'm a bit vocal, um, but, uh, but in my defence, over half of the pack are new entrants, and they need some encouragement uh, to get them back to where they should be. Uh, and uh, actually, I don't mind them going wrong because getting them back on the track again is, uh, Thank you. is quite successful. And here we go again. Isn't this beautiful? Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know what I'm looking to my right. I was convinced they weren't going to go the right way through here and I couldn't see Tilly or Georgina and uh, I was slightly panicking. But, leave um, them! Leave them! I might be, uh, yeah. Well, I was heading towards um, the landowner's chickens, <laughs> which are fenced in, I have to say, and um, my hands only like uh, diced chicken, they don't like chickens with feathers on. Um, my, my hands are vegan hands. Anyway, um, nice beech trees um, and uh, in a minute you'll see a beautiful valley. It's one of the nicest um, places in North Wales. What you can't see is the hands were beautiful around the outside of the field um, and down the valley and up into a wood uh, the other side, right over on the far left corner. And they they slightly overshot and then checked themselves straight away and went back on the line. It was unfortunately we weren't close enough to see it, but it was good, wasn't it? Well, I saw it. Well, I know, but we can't see it on your head cap. No, no. So Norfolk is um, it has a lot of outdoor pigs on, um, and obviously we we need to stay away from the outdoor pig units. Yeah. Um, oh, we're going back up the wood. Um, hands, hands were probably half a mile in front of me. Some would probably say that's hugely irresponsible, but actually, um, I knew my my whips had gone round to the left. One had gone to the left, and one had gone to the right. Well, I think one was actually with me. Actually. Um, so, um, so we've got it all under control. And, and actually, we have a we have Wally out out wide or somewhere on his quad bike. I, I tend to not know where he is, but he's generally near the road, isn't he? And here we are, we're heading down there. To the runners. To the, yeah, straight for the runners. And what's quite nice is the hands are all gathered round by the runners, which um, helps them like a pan. Steady, steady. All good? Have you been here long? An hour. Did you, were you stopped? Yeah, we stopped the top up there. Did you, were you stopped? Yeah, we stopped the top up there. No kills yet, eh? How'd you do something with the pigs? No kills yet. Huh? We went to here until you come round. Ah, okay. Brilliant, that's f f very good, thank you. They went wrong a couple of times. They came straight through the wood, then they got them back again. And then you know when you ran through the, your, at the start, you had quite a long straight bit? Yeah. Three went round the corner, the other went, went on. <laughs> And then they turn around and come back, so it's kind of split up a bit. But but that's brilliant. I um we're going to go and have a drink now. Oh sorry, yeah, up by the road. Right, okay. You want to stop by the road? Yeah, that's where my mother should be. Right, we're about to start line three. Yeah, it is line three. Um, we've had a we've had a little stop and a 
bit of a socialise. Steady, yeah, steady. Crunch. Um, crunch, crunch. The runners today are Gavin Lane, he's uh, vice chairman of the CLA. Um, he likes to run around other people's farms to make sure everyone's behaving themselves. And uh, Georgie Salmon, whose husband's a huge uh, farmer in Norfolk steady, steady, um, steady. for himself and other people. Steady, an steady. And she's an ultra runner, steady. yeah, from um, Leicestershire Way. Um, and and those two basically have been with us from the off. And uh, and there's a no, we've got a newbie with us called Rob, who's been helping you us massively home, yeah. uh, during pre-season, a couple of pre-seasons. As you can see, they went straight over the road, do like the road, um, into the sugar beet, up the sugar beet, as you can see on the left. Um, my whips will be following them, and I'm doing another bit of a shortcut up here. Um, and in a minute, cross over. Yeah, cross over back. Yeah, I think you'll see them in a minute. Yeah. Um, look at them up there. Look. There's one slow one. Don't know that one. Like the oh. Elvis. Oh, we had a rough night. Mm. Might have constipation. <laughs> um, here we go. Crossing over. And there's a ride going through the wood. And I don't know what quite happened, but they got caught behind some wire, as you can see in a minute. They crossed over a bit late, didn't they? Right. And well, it, the centre drifted to the left. And yeah. And they were stuck behind some... Some wire. Some wire. Yeah. Anyway, they, when I got there, they were running up and down inside this um, chicken wire. Must be an old pen or something. To try and keep the deer out to meet the new trees, I think. Anyway, they were they couldn't get through and. Can someone I, um, hold my horse? For assistance. Yeah. So someone could hold my horse, and I got off and uh, took the fence down, which I instantly I went and put back up again. Later on in the day. Oh, sorry. Which is a must. Thank you. And uh, Rob. and then um, Rob. anyway, you'll you'll be able to see in a minute what happened. Um, it, oh, boy. Uh, this way, this way, this way. It reminds me of when I used Broadway. to work for Broadway. another Broadway. pack of hands. I, I went Broadway. And I hand out of a pen similar oh, to this, and I got stuck in the bloody pen. Can get out. <laughs> Come on, boys. Anyway. <laughs> You lift the wire down. What are you? What are you? What are you? Wait, 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 wait. There's um. Oh, go on there. Another person to give her a hump buttons now. She's done that. Um, mind you, she didn't get off and give me a leg up. Um. Just. Yeah, well, come, on, quick, come on, quick, come on, me. And off we go again, round the corner. And uh, it's quite nice going through these rides. How do you find it? Yeah, it's lovely. We've laid a good look trail. Nice jumps. Yeah. Oh, yeah, great time. This is good because you see them. Well, they went wrong. I think they must have drifted to the left or something. And then, and then the, the, the miracle of ah. Santa. And the, and the beauty of amazing hounds. Um, they came out of the woods. There we go. There we go again. And uh, as you can see, they, they tend to stick together fairly well. Um, but um, that's uh, more luck than judgment. Yeah, they're going to go up there and then left-handed. Heading for that wood up there, yeah? You cut in, didn't you? Yeah. They got it. Two. Oh, two. Did one dog leg. 
then started coming along and then we did one more and then we just came straight they followed the followed Are they the all right and then there was one ahead of the others yeah who followed our line view went yeah. over i sent george good day today all went well lots of lovely people out Our runners. Well, this is the end of the day, and that's a beautiful picture of my daughter Tilly on Cloud. Who's how old's Cloud now? Fourteen. Yeah, my wife bought Cloud as a three-year-old. I forbid her to buy him. Her uh, anyway. Luckily, she's, I she's, ignored you. Well, she's nicknamed the Thumb Taker, um, but she's turned out to be good. Anyway, here's my new horse, Global with his hands, it's a lovely red chestnut. Um, X-ray sauce, one yeah. three hurdles. Yeah, Milton Harris um, trained it. There's my mother on the right. Um, there's Tilly and Georgie. Two whips. Yeah, me trying to blow my horn. I've got a silver horn, which my wife bought for me, me. Um, which is very nice. And uh, there's, there's the boss on her Ex show jumper, bought from um, William Funnel, Billy Horse Stud, um, and so if you want to buy a decent horse, check, check out to the Billy Stud. Check out to the Billy Stud. Uh, check out the Billy Stud. They have online auctions. There's our beautiful field of uh, happy followers, um, and uh, look, everyone is smiling. I think even the horses smile, don't they? Oh, my dogs, definitely. Anyway, I'll pass you over to my wife because I'm about to go to bed. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, no, I haven't cooked your supper yet. So, yeah, that's that's our lovely day. Um, there we've got Footloose eventing. She's done her own vlog, so check out her channel on our day. Um, she wasn't feeling very well. Um, and there are the runners. This is the end of the last line, but Charlie forgot to switch on the gopro for that one um but yeah the hound's getting a treat um i'm giving him a lead over a log so that's it i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you did give us a like leave us a comment subscribe to the channel share it far and wide and uh see you soon bye